Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know. Um, we've been getting a lot of people reaching out to us, letting us know about these fake profiles, people pretending to be me on social media, whether it's on Instagram, uh, here on YouTube or Facebook. So if you come across any of those accounts, I highly encourage you guys to report them to get them shut down. These are people that are pretending to be me, trying to take your money, uh, trying to set appointments that they're never going to give you because obviously it's not me. Um, so I highly, highly encourage you guys to report those accounts. Um, if you're unsure if you're following a real account of mine, go to my main YouTube channel uh, you can see the links on there of our social medias. That is our official ones um, so that you guys can be more, you know, knowledgeable. I'm trying to prevent you guys from being taken advantage of. Also, we've been noticing a lot of our videos here on YouTube getting a lot of spam. Uh, if you come across those people that are trying to get you to text someone or message someone or contact someone, um, report those those comments so that they could be deleted it's just becoming a nuisance at this point. I was thinking of just completely shutting off the comment section, but I feel that it's unjustly for you guys, so I'm not going to do that, uh, but definitely report them. All right, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2021 in regards to love and romance. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June 2021, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we got cards popping out already. Wow. All right, Aquarius. You have the Strength card, and this is the position that you're in at the present time. The Strength card indicates being confident in yourself, knowing your worth, um, I feel that there's been either healing or a elevation of vibration here uh, for some of you guys. Right at the center, we have the hanged man. So you may be dealing with a person that is very inconsistent, a person that doesn't really know what it is that they want. Um, there is a lot of like stalemate type of energy here. It's like you put effort, you come strong, you're willing to put the energy and effort in this connection. They're not really giving you much though here with the hanged man. Um, the dynamic itself, what they're telling you is the nine of pentacles, embrace, uh, embrace being single. So what I mean by that is I know Aquarians are definitely not ones to challenge singlehood. Uh, if anything, you guys, you know, thrive off of being single. Um, but what they're telling you is that for some of you guys, you have spent so much time being very self independent, or you have put a lot of effort in yourself, in your career, in your profession, how you make money, that it's made you a bit cold or a bit distance, distant when we're talking about relationships. So it's time to take it a little bit back. Yes, Aquarius, you're independent. Yes, Aquarius, you're powerful, confident. We know that. Um, but what they're telling you is that when it comes to relationships, when it comes to partnerships, you kind of can overdo or over sacrifice you have to allow the other person to put in effort as well. And I feel that sometimes you may cock block them. Don't really allow them to put that effort. And the moment that you're feeling like, well, they're taking advantage of me or the moment you feel like, well, I've done enough. The reason why they just don't come up to, to meet you halfway is because you haven't put them in that position. You haven't allowed them to rise to the occasion. So again, if you're dealing with inconsistency type of energy, what they're telling you is stop wasting your time there know your worth, know that you deserve someone that is willing to put that effort, the same effort that you're putting in, you're deserving of the same reciprocation, the same energy. Now you do have the wheel card here. So this is talking about destiny, but this is talking about things are quickly going to be changing in a very positive, especially for those of you guys that feel like you've been at stalemate when we're talking about relationships. So those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, Yes, you're powerful. Yes, you're strong. Yes, you're confident. Yes, you're independent, Aquarius. But deep down inside your beautiful, soft heart, you want a partnership. And it's okay to accept that. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make you vulnerable. It doesn't make you weak. 
what they're telling you is prepare yourself because the wheel is turning and your singlehood may come to an end, may come to a conclusion. There is major transformation that's happening. There is a healing energy that is unfolding, but it's also speaking to me directly about time. So I feel that for some of you guys, you have been single for a very long time. We're talking about two years all the way to nine years where single could represent, yes, you've dated here and there, but to actually carry a long-term committed relationship, for some of you guys, it just hasn't worked out that way. But what they're telling you here is that the wheel is quickly turning in your favor. They're bringing in a person or an individual that is going to help you heal those unhealed parts of yourself that maybe you're not even aware that needs healing. Uh, this is a person that is going to be extremely nurturing, extremely loving. Um, this is also a person that, you know, grows or really thrives off of freedom. So this is a person that may have the same view, the same outlook as you do when we're talking about relationships. This is definitely not someone that's going to suffocate you in a partnership. This is someone that embraces that type of energy of the freedom of the trust, that type of energy. So I feel that it meshes very well with you. Uh, so from now all the way to August, they're telling me uh, there is a connection that is going to be unfolding. For some of you guys, you will be meeting this person. You will be meeting this person in the workplace or uh, in or around the work, your workplace. Um, this is also, this may be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, it could be a Sagittarian or an energy coming in or a Leo energy coming in um, or Pisces as well, as we do have the hanged man here. However, what they're telling you here is fully embrace this new beginning, this new connection. Um, again, if you're dealing with inconsistency, it's time to let go of that. Stop settling is what they're telling you. Stop settling for people that are just putting the bare minimum stop settling for uh you know i'm happy being single i don't need anyone like stop settling for that it's not that you fully embraced it it has more to do with the fact that you feel people are not worthy of your trust to allow them to get closer to you and what they're telling you is let go of that energy it just means that someone hasn't really sparked that interest within you but that's quickly going to be changing so again, it's time to embrace new beginnings like all of the past Aquarius. I hope that this gives you guys insight. I hope it gives you understanding. Comment, like, and share, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.